What a dog, good morning. It's Jo from Talk and Play. As it's Halloween, I thought of an activity that you might like to share with your children. So I'm going to make um, a gift hiding bat. So what will you need for this? Well, you need a kitchen paper tube, um, like I've got here. I cut one in half, so I've only need half of it, so it should go a long way. You'll need some kitchen paper as well. And I've got some black paper, but you can just use um, white paper and colour it with a pen if you only need a little bit of it. Um, I've also got some glue, but you can use sellotape if you don't have glue. I've got some colouring pens and a scissors. Just be mindful that the children will have to share their activity with you in order for you to use the scissors for them. Um, so what will we need to do? Well, first of all, I'm going to get my two and I'm going to push the both sides in with my fingers down into the middle of the tube. So you should be left with two bits up like that. I can show you a bit closer. I just push the two bits down with my finger and you'll have two like horns at each side. So that's where we're going to start. If you then give it to your child to decorate however they want, you can see with mine, I've drawn a bat. Don't forget you can colour these in, so you can do them white, or you can cover them with white paper first, and then you've got a ghost as well, so you can do whichever one you want. I've just drawn two eyes and a mouth and some cheeks on mine, just to make it nice and colourful. So then, with your black paper, while your child is decorating their tube, you can draw some wings on the black paper or like I say, if you've only got white paper, just draw some wings on there and then colour it in later. Um, so once I've drawn my wings, I've folded the paper in half, as you can see, and I've drawn the wings just to the one, I don't know if you can see that, just to the fold of the paper. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to cut out what I've drawn and it's just some bat wings. I'll just cut those out quickly to show you. Um, I've rounded my wings off at the bottom just so they aren't so pointy if you've got younger children, but you can you can do whichever you want. Now, if your child is old enough to use the scissors, this is really great for scissor skills, but if not, I would just do it yourself. So you can see there that I've just cut out my wings and then unfolded them. There's the wings that I've drawn, unfolded them. To make a real full set of wings now all we're going to do with that is open it up and just glue at the middle so put a nice big blob of glue in the middle there as you can see and then i'm going to add it to my tube just behind so you can now see that my little bat has some wings and he can fly now where will you put the little gift well we're going to put it inside and then to keep it in there, we're going to use a little bit of the kitchen paper, roll it up nice and tight and just plug it in the bottom. So there we are. You've got your little gift holder and the children have had some fun whilst making it. I hope you've enjoyed this activity. Um, it's really good for language and communication, fine motor skills, turn taking and scissor skills if your child is old enough, um, as well as concentration. I've had fun making these with you. I hope you have fun too. Happy Halloween. Bye bye. Bye bye.